I saw a, I saw a post on Instagram the other day, and it said uh, it was from this guy Henny. Uh, he, he's a he's like a a, a producer, uh, content creator, you know, and he's dope. And I've learned a lot from him so far. But it, it was a post that said, um, "Don't focus on being great. Focus on being consistently good, and that will make you great." Or it was something like that. And, my main issue has always been consistency. So whenever I try to get consistent with something, it like gets hard and I kind of run out of ideas and stuff. And I've been slowly, cause a lot of you guys, if you've been around for a while, you guys will know that I've, I stream, obviously. Um, I've made videos and I make music as well. And I do like a lot of things in between with free space and stuff like that. And they've all kind of played tug of war with my time throughout my life. So when I was making music, I wasn't really making videos. And when I was making videos, I wasn't really making music. And I've been streaming every single day for the last three years, and I really haven't been doing much else. And I have so much, like, freedom, you know. I've been blessed with so much, like, freedom that I need to put more time into my videos and my music and stuff because it's only going to, they're only going to benefit one another. So... But the first step was kind of getting to streaming consistently, because I love streaming. Um, and then after that, I kind of wanted to work on getting my videos, and then hopefully someday soon I'm able to get back to music. Because I've been working on music here and there, I just haven't been satisfied with anything, I guess. Or... I'm a perfectionist in some aspects, but not all. I want things to look a certain way. I, I haven't been quite a perfectionist with putting together videos. Because I know if I'm going to actually get the videos out, I can't be that type of way. But I've been making the videos, so it hasn't been... It's like, it's not even something hard to do. I've just been making such a big deal about it in my head. So one thing I kind of wanted to mention to people was connections and networking. Like, I, I saw a tweet the other day, and I forget who it's who it was from, or I'd give them, like, full credit for it. Just a class on networking, I feel like, would be great. Because networking has done so much for me you know like just working with what I had trying to meet people and just reaching out to people has done so much for me a lot of you may not know like the specific timeline for videography and stuff but I started doing my videos like a year year and a half ago for people um, like pro like trying to do it professionally and everything it really wasn't as hard as I thought it would have been you know but I met the right people. I started going on Instagram every morning, messaging people, 20, 20 people a day. And that kind of got me hooked up with Chad, with Matt and Chris, with Jeremy, with... I, I didn't message Celis, so let me kind of start at the beginning. But I, I messaged and I, uh, I messaged to Jeremy. And Jeremy was like, um, I think it's awesome what you're doing, what you're offering. I don't really have a need for it right now, but I'd love to like go out and talk some time or, you know, and that evolved through time because Jeremy kept telling Celis, like, I have this videographer, you know, things like that. You guys should work together, you know, and so I got my first opportunity to shoot for Celis. You know, I got my first opportunity to shoot for Chad and Jessica and a lot of these people, I apologize if I'm forgetting anybody, but I had no, like, nothing to show to people besides my YouTube videos, and a lot of people say, like, when you start doing something like this, you gotta do it for free, and I actually was able to, I guess if you consider my, the portion of time I made videos on YouTube without getting anything for it, I guess I did do it for five or six years for free, but... I didn't have to do any work professionally for free, you know, because I reached out, I met the right people. I wasn't charging a whole lot and all, but I, I met the right people and I was able to just continue networking and to continue meeting people and stuff and doing consistent work for those people. But I, I've really loved every opportunity I've gotten so far. So communicating, networking, speaking to people, just going out of your comfort zone, I feel like can do a whole lot for your life and change things. Jeremy and Celis, when I first met them, I was trying to like get work done and get new clients and stuff. They've kind of ended up being some of like my closest, what I would consider some of my closest friends, you know, and I'm super grateful for both of them. Um, they're both amazing people with amazing work ethics. They do amazing work. Um, Celis being a rapper and content creator and Jeremy being a window tender and entrepreneur. They're just amazing people that I've been able to meet and learn from and grow from and things like that. And Jeremy really has, they both get me like hyped up and pumped up because I see their work and I see them like 
making videos on stuff and I just I just get pumped and I just get hyped up and those are the type of people you really need around people you would consider smarter and more like better at life I guess than you um, it's really nice to learn from them I, I really appreciate them and just having that opportunity to meet the right people you know if you don't put yourself out there you'll never you may not ever have that opportunity to meet the right people and you may not everyone may not be the perfect person I've met great people so far Chad Matt Chris Jessica all of them have been wonderful so far but I just had I not put myself out there and message people you know and kind of made myself vulnerable to get turned down and declined because I've been turned down like 50 100 200 times you know but the 10 15 20 people that said yes like that's all that mattered it kind of brings me to another area of everything is people talk about like there's a cheat code or something to success or being a famous rapper or videographer or youtuber or something and i don't believe there is really any key to success obviously i guess i'm not successful enough to really say for sure but i don't believe there is really any key to being successful besides not giving up you know realizing that you're going to fail realizing that you're going to make mistakes you just you have to realize you're going to fail and you, you just need to keep trying a lot of people that I look up to uh, Casey Eminem Tupac I look up to Celis and Jeremy analyzing each of their careers and everything there's really only one common theme amongst all of them and that's that they didn't give up you know like imagine if Eminem would have given up before he met Dr. Dre or Tupac would have met up gave up before he I don't know released keep your head up or there's so many people out there like meeting Jeremy and Celis and them like we have a lot of similar histories and things and there's like obviously different variables and things here and there you know there's a lot of different variables variables between a lot of the people that I work with states we were born in states we grew up in environments we grew up in people we grew up around schools we went to you know the main theme amongst all of them is that we haven't given up it doesn't matter to me I love this journey so much I used to be all about the end goal you know I want to have all the money I want to have all the cars I want to have a nice home I want to have this and that and I've really began to appreciate the journey if you don't have the journey there to kind of mold you you kind of get to the end goal and you don't know where to go from there you know if today I just got like a hundred million dollars I really wouldn't I would know because I've had a decent amount of the journey so far you know the last 10 years of my life I've had that journey to kind of build and grow so I have a decent idea what I'd like to do once I achieve my goals but I just recently have kind of realized what my goals really are I've never really had set goals like a goal for I've been setting goals for myself to achieve and I've never really had goals to set and I think that's part of me growing as a person you have to evolve like your journey has to mold you in certain areas it has to kind of make you a well-rounded individual in certain areas to kind of get you to that point like you have to it, life has to get its point across before it's going to really reward you I feel like and that kind of ties into the giving up thing because you have to keep going so you can have all these experiences in life to mold you into the person that life or if you believe in God God wants you to be if life wants you to be like just what you should be and what you could be and I've had a lot of experiences that have kind of altered the way I've seen certain things um, and kind of altered the way I went about certain things and I've just you got to appreciate the journey you got to appreciate the roughing it period of your life to kind of appreciate and know where to go once you reach that goal I feel like in life I need purpose more than I, I I need a purpose more than I need to make money the only thing separating you from the people you admire and look up to is that they didn't give up so if you want to get to be where Eminem's at or Lil Dicky's at or anybody you know the president's at all all you have to do is keep trying don't give up um, no matter how hard it seems sometimes you just need to if you believe in your dream and you believe in your goal and you believe that you can achieve it and you believe that that's what you really want in life then you need to keep trying you can't give up despite who's doubting you despite who doesn't believe in you just you got to keep going as long as you're alive on this planet as long as you're waking up every morning you have the opportunity to keep going and keep driving and keep I don't know just keep achieving keep dreaming keep reaching that goal um, just don't give up that that is literally the one thing I can give to any of my anybody watching this that is kind of looking for a starting point and kind of like trying to figure out why things aren't working out just don't give up on what you guys are doing just keep going and keep trying things 
and don't be afraid to realize like maybe you reach a certain goal and you're like this isn't what I wanted you know and try again we're, we're always adapting as human beings and we're always learning and honestly I feel like you've kind of missed the point of life if you do never if your opinion never changes you know don't be afraid to change don't feel like you have to have it all figured out just keep trying keep believing don't give up even if you change like what you want to do in life or change your opinion or change like whatever change your religion change whatever just just keep keep trying and don't be afraid to admit that you've changed don't feel like people are going to judge you for changing your opinion just keep at it keep grinding keep going hard and sooner or later it's all going to pay off you know when you're the person you need to be to achieve that goal it's all going to pay off and you're going to be forever thankful and grateful i guess that's just the message i had for everyone but i'm gonna keep trying to upload i'm gonna keep trying to speak to the camera i'm gonna keep trying to speak to y'all my stream will be live later on today we'll go from there guys thank you very much i appreciate you watching if you pulled anything from this let me know if you have any words of encouragement or anything um let me know down below and uh i'll see you guys later Celis's video should hopefully be going live soon like another week or two um i'll link that to you guys too because i'm really excited for you guys to see that one but uh, peace out guys have a good day